everyone, Michael here, and welcome to another episode of Kettle 5 out of SPDFR. Uh, first episode, we're gonna be with this uh, 2016 for Police Interceptor Utility, um, also known as the uh, Full Explorer. Um, I, forgot who, I forgot who it's made by, but uh, I will have a link down below uh, for the vehicle. Um, this year is the Los Santos Police um, Community Service livery that is uh, made by me and yeah um so originally um the vehicle came with random lights but never i changed it to all blues um just for my own editing and liking so um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my um my patterns i know that i have not done this um before but this is my first time ever showing you guys uh on my line setup so you got a uh, stage one, which is just a takedown over right here. Uh, by default, you got the arrow going to or the um, traffic directory going to the right. Get the traffic directory going to the left, and you got some uh, got some blues going on the back and some blues going on the front. So that is that. And for stage three. Got the whole shebang. So I put stage 3 on a scan mode for primarily as well for the warning lights. And I put um, put the traffic directory on a T4. So, um, but you guys want to go ahead and see what it looks like. So you got stage 1, stage 2, which is now E0 for the primary. And as soon as it goes from stage 2 to 3, it now goes to scan. So, that is uh, that. Also, you guys can see here, um, I made everything a little bright. Um, with your ELS INI, you can make the environment uh, bright. Well, that's what I did. So, because in real life, uh, these lights are really bright. So, that's what I did. But, um, Anyways, we get after see what calls cause or things I've sent to and um, yeah, one John 21. Go ahead and show me your service available calls. Um, if you guys are enjoying the Alice pre far series, make sure you guys go ahead and uh, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Um, as well as follow me on Instagram, um, Twitter. As well as go ahead and feel free to uh, join my Discord server, and that's pretty much should be there in the description. So, um, yeah, um, I know sometimes I like the YouTube will like unless it's YouTube will put out notifications a little later than usual, so you guys want to get notifications quicker. Uh, my Discord server is the best place to be which it will be down in the description below so um but yeah i will have a link to the vehicle model but the link here for the skin or for delivery won't be down there since that uh, this delivery here is made by me it's not released uh yet so I'm probably making a huge uh, skin pack for this. Um, I made a supervisor version for the Tahoe. I made the this is a community service um, version of it. And I know I made the I know I made some uh, patrol division for the Chargers as well for the Tahoe. But uh, I'm thinking about putting like a um, DUI uh, division as well as a K9 division livery. So. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do some uh, radar um, and like anything going on this point on here. So.
Oh, he's got two cars at curb right there. Um, so the reason why I made my lights all blue so they can like match the livery so because honestly to me seeing uh, red and blue lights uh, with like a blue livery does not seem to be matchable for me I mean that's just me I know some people want red and blue, some people want all red, some people want all blues I just had to go with the um, with the theme of the vehicle so if I'm using a vehicle that's like, all blues I like to use all blue lights which is magic color of the vehicle so So when I got a fire truck, let's do it. This seem to be going to a call of fire, or maybe of, um, or probably gas, something like that. Who knows what we're responding to? But uh, they're wrecking two cars. Let's put on here. So <laughs> the uh, AI in this game, they're terrible drivers. I'm most probably going at license sirens. So I'm gonna go just go around these cars over here. So. Way to go, uh, fellas! Listen to it over here, so... This one here is the attaining uh, push bar, so... I believe this one also comes with a wraparound, if I'm not mistaken. Um... I may go ahead and, uh... Yield to them. I'm gonna put it right, but instead they're gonna be right on my hind, so I'm gonna put it right over here. So typically, I'm gonna see if this one here has any uh, uh, any components for the wrap around. So it does. So because of the wrap around, but I have to keep it just like that. So. It's also uh, 3.32 a.m. So... Alright, so right now we are gonna be... Um... See if anyone... Whoop, this guy here just ran red light, so uh... That's one thing we can go ahead and put more for, so... I mean, he went through red light just by going around that truck. But uh, I'm gonna put a arrest warrant, so I wanna go to that guy B and me around to his uh, arrest warrant. So one John twenty one, can you show me around to the parts of um, for arrest warrant up in that Vinewood? So right now we're gonna be around to his arrest warrant. So I was gonna go ahead and go through that motorcycle, but instead I'm gonna go through his car. So. I mean, he's like that he's not get pulled over. I was gonna go pull him over and see why he uh, went right on red just by going around a vehicle. So, I mean, that's one way cause an accident right there. So, alright, people, out of the way. Out of the way, people. Go ahead and make sure that the air are cool over here. So, 
Now, the reason why I go slow when I go instructions is because of uh, you get a huge risk of accidents when I go full ice instructions, especially at these instructions on miles per hour, which is why I'm trying to be uh, more cautious when trying to get through here. So I don't cause any accidents like kind of or I can to accident, so because you have any step will stop for you and just keep on going and as you know they stop again they keep on going and stop again they keep on going so which is why to be careful when you through any sections especially in real life so different times for our first responders are trying to go through any sections but then People just don't wait for them to pass, that's how they can actually it's that guy right there, like, you can wait for me until I pass, but instead, you want to keep on going, and just tap this side right here, right up, for explorer, so. One John 21, can you show me at 1097? Gonna be on seeing out the uh, suspect's uh, location. Well, it's gonna be it's gonna be resisting arrest that's probably here. So, one John 21, is it a suspect here resisting arrest up on a mad way Thunder Road or drive? I'll just say. All right, dude, gotta start running. Alright, so running, dude. So, let me for you, dude, to stop running. It's not even worth it. One, not to be so supposed to be on foot. I'm requesting uh, local and state as well as local air support. Alright, dude. Alright, let's be heading up to the um, grass over here. In the yards. Now you don't do something right there. Get your knees. Get your knees. One John 21. Can you show the rest for uh, 1011 times one? Could be 1098 on that one. For those who are thinking that the light flashing is flashing in blue, it's actually not yeah, actually flashing in blue and amber. So, um, let me go ahead and turn off my. Uh, Siren, real quick, and I'm um, go ahead and uh, go near this aspect. So, just for it, you can see here it flashes uh, pretty much all blues at the most part. So, you think it's flashing all reds, but all reds are probably from the motorcycle. So, but you can tell it's actually flashing uh, all blues. So. I'm not sure why they came from the passenger side, but oh well. Alright. There we go, much better, alright. Alright, why didn't you uh, run for me? Not that one. I'm gonna detain. Christ, I mean, I mean, nothing, I mean, something to cry about. I mean, like, I mean, you could have just, I mean, you could have, you could have a conversation, see what the warrant's about, but instead, as soon as I pumped the driveway, decided to, uh, decided to take off and run. Um, have you, have you been in trouble with the, um, with the police before? Just if you're drinking underage, everyone does it. Well, I mean, like, if you do it in your home, that's not right. But if you do it out in public, then that's going to be a felony right there. Because currently, you can't be drinking underage. Um, but I mean, like, if you were just having something at your house, like for New Year's party, then that'd be like one thing under a door supervisor. But, uh, but I mean, look back now, I mean, like, Um, I 
Alright, um, do you anything I'm just gonna put me stick me, hand grenades, rocket launchers, cats, dogs, zebras, mice, uh, lepers, king cons, cablibras, um, hot dog, mayonnaise, ketchup, lettuce, pickles, tomatoes, cheeseburgers, um, chicken, uh, Kentucky fried chicken, anything like that. Alright. You've got to... So you don't. Alright, I'm gonna go to patch death for my safety and your safety, uh, alright, as well for the, uh, safety for the public, so... A small bag of cocaine, sunglasses, a print ticket, and a zip lighter. Alright. Alright, my man, can you tell me where I got this uh, baggie of cocaine from? I didn't want you to seal them. Well, I'm not gonna seal them, I mean, you have to take them for evidence. Uh, to see. You know, to see if you were overdosing them or not, so uh, where did you get the drugs from? Um, the plug down on Gold Street? Alright, um Alright, so as of right now, you're gonna be charged for resisting arrest, alright As well for possession of narcotics, okay? So, possession of narcotics I would say it slow you, it was personal use well, currently, it says Andreas, um, heroin is illegal, um, so, technically, you can get a felony for that, um, San Andreas, um, as well for resisting, as well as substance of justice, why would my myself be cuffed? Well, currently, you have a warrant out for your arrest, so, currently, uh, we have to, we have to uh, detain you for your warrant, and if the warrant is active or not, we have to uh, put you in for the warrant investigation. So, as well for your outstanding warrant, so, rest of me or something I didn't even know I had. Well, I mean, you should know what you've done in the past. I mean, like, I don't know, like, I mean, I'm not you, so, I mean, like, but anyways, we're gonna go ahead cross a PT first over here and find the first person knife. So one John twenty one can you show me ten eight from that last call? Gonna be a route to post with a knife near my location. So it's a good thing how like the call over here is right near right near ours, so one John twenty one can you show me at ten ninety seven in the area? I'm looking for the uh, visual. So I'm gonna put some knife over here. So that's what I'm looking for. So and they said they're gonna be dislocation. So make sure that no command numbers are attacking us as soon as you have a vehicle. So. Alright, you can go in your back on patrol. Alright, so we're now gonna make search in the area for a person knife over here, so I mean they could be up there on the um sort up there. Well, I'm going to go ahead and try and find a place to park my uh, vehicle. This would be a perfect spot for him to park. So, one John Taylor, well, give me out for it, especially for the individual. Alright, so we're not going to be out for over here. So, again, um, we just don't know if they're going to try and attack us or just try and run from us. I mean, there's been times where I have to take the attacks back down because that's when they're going to tend to attack me. So, um but we're gonna go ahead and check over here near the uh, grassy areas on properties that kind of stuff 
you know, see if he or she is in the area. So. I don't see anything over there. Don't see nothing over there. I'm going to see if there's anything up over here. Not over here, it's up for uh, power lines. That's for sure. So, nothing right there. Nothing over here, so. And again, right now we're going to be search, like looking for the suspect, so. And again, we don't know if they are. Um, they're, you know, they're going to try and attack us with a knife or they're going to try and run away from us, so. And like I said, there's been times where I do, uh, to attack down by shooting them. Um, to end the threat, because that's when times where they are gonna be, uh, you know, charging at me, and that's when I have no, uh, choice but use my, uh, use my, uh, Glock, so. I could use a taser, but think about it, in reality, tasers will always work, which is why I had to use the Glock, so. And people who always say, why did you use a taser? Well, currently, I think there's way too many TV shows or movies because tasers don't always work. So. I mean, like, no matter how hard of training they have, tasers do not always affect the people. I mean, like, you can probably tase a guy who's, like, so skinny that he won't feel a thing. Or you can just probably just tase somebody. I mean, the tasers don't always work on anybody, so. I mean, you can probably tase somebody and they will just stand there like a brick wall, no matter what. I mean, like, you can probably tase a 90 year old person, and they can still be standing there like a brick wall. I mean, tasers don't really have an effect on people. Um, and my effects on people may not affect some people, so tasers don't always work. So, which is why um, they issue law enforcement clocks to be easier to take down the threat. So, and plus with the taser, you only have a certain range, so yeah. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and uh, set the location over here. So, we're gonna see if they're down this way. Um, if we can't find the individual, that's when I'll be going to end the call. So, because I feel it's gonna take forever for me to search for them. So, I expect people to be like, well, no sense suspect, end the call. I'm not like that. I'm like more of a reason person. Like, I like to make sure that. Um, I see if they're actually there or not. So, honest people be like, mm, "Okay, show me what's saying." Nope, nothing here, and they drive off. I'm not the kind of kind of person. I'm more like, um, I'm going to go ahead and stick around, see if I can find them or not. If I can't find them, then yeah, I'll probably just end it. But I'm going to keep on searching. So, I mean, I, I believe we search everywhere for the suspects. So. I mean, I'm the calling car on 1098. One John 21. Can you show me 1098 on that uh, last call? Gonna find the visual for the person with the knife. Yeah, so we couldn't find the visual. So I had the call right there. So. Alright, then. It's in the spot right for me, right down here. One John 21, gonna be in a um, big pursuit up in uh, Vinewood Hills. Alright, dude, yeah, either way, got my uh, full blue lights on over here, people. My full blue lights, all blues.
Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can uh, call him for local patrol, state patrol, as well as helicopter. So, we're now the Los Santos County Sheriff on scene. So, this is the first person over here. I believe I should, I believe I should you guys that um, before, but there's the game right there. So, I'm just taking a job over here, so you guys remember from my last episode where I was going 100 miles per hour just getting around the AI traffic um, doing the pursuit. I'm not going to do that again, um, that's because I was pretty much on the other second unprofessional while I just stayed right there. So I'm going to try and this time um, just be more realistic, so if the secondary goes out, I'll take secondary, if the primary goes out, I'll take primary. So instead of me having to overtake my backup units, which was a bad idea because one, I believe I took down a road sign and two, almost had a head-on collision. So this time I'm going to try to make it more uh, safe for me. So, but just now I'll be the um, I'll be the third unit in this pursuit, and I'm going to have one sure that's primary, one sure that's secondary. So. Again, this form of realism effect, so... Now, it, now since he's out, secondary in the opposite secondary, he'll be taking prime, I mean, third, so... Now we got one unit taking primary, now I'm secondary, since, uh... He was out of the pursuit, which means that unit over there is now third, so... Alright, people, just pull to the right, not in front of me, people. We're gonna have a high patrol unit on scene as well as this pursuit. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit, let him take primary. So I'll call action again of mission overtake my backup unit. So again, if you guys wanna watch my last episode, which I believe was episode 125, I mean that was. Um, that is where I uh, was overtaken on my vehicle, and that's when I hit a road side and almost a hammer collision. So. That pursuit was kind of unrealistic as well as unprofessional. Um, so, which is why I'm going to try to keep it realism at this point on here. So, I'd rather be going slow through intersections, like I said, um, to uh, to get less. To get into a less risk of accident, because if we go through any such as 100 miles per hour, that is most likely when I can get into an accident. So, which is why I had to go nice and easy through its intersections. On the matter, why do people like just go faster? This and that. Honestly, in real life, you'll never see an officer or any first responder going through the lights 100 miles per hour. Because in real life, that's how it goes accidents, so... Which is why I'm trying to be careful over here, so I'll cause an accident, so... Like that guy right there, I mean, like, instead of waiting for me to pass, he said I think it's a good time to go ahead and go, so... That is that. God, I thought I'm right there. Really, dude? Really? Man, <laughs> you have the porter right and the pull right back in front of me. Why? Yeah, you gotta be careful with the AI in this game because they really don't know how to yield for your license sirens because, like, they'll be pulling to your right, all of a sudden they'll be, be pulling up to your uh, left. So.
I mean, I could have terminated that pursuit and appoint that person over for a fair to yield. And people are like, they did yield, well, honestly, we're paying attention. They didn't really yield. They just put it right, all of a sudden, just pulled off to the, f to the left. The very last second, so... Which is why, you should be careful. We're going to force the sirens, so... No matter how good a job you are, you're still going into a wreck. So... And plus, my sentence has left left intersections, so which is why I'm trying to be careful and trying to go driving through the city. So... Use my waypoint to get to them, so... I just got right here. We all zigzagging on that one. I'm sure it happens in real life in some locations. Um, where people just either zigzag or have no idea how to pull over and see a merge vehicle with the license sirens, so. So right now, the suspect or individual um, has entered the highway. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, try and make it over there. So. Which can be done right there, be the Ocean Highway, not be on. So. Right now, we're heading on to the Ocean Highway. So we're gonna head towards uh, that direction right there. So... So we're right now we're heading off the freeway, so I may seem to be paying, nope, they're going to be heading over towards uh, Shumach, so seems like that might be in Los Santos County or Blaine County, don't remember, but uh, yeah, it could be either Los Santos County or Blaine County that they're in, so alright, we're going to try and get over there. So... So now to the rail siren. I'm not the, uh, not the uh, yup siren. It's been annoying, but I had to change it up a bit. Just to ask intention, like they did in real life. So... It's normally, when they're going to call, they... You need to change the tone of siren. Just to get the driver's attention, um, sometimes, so... Which is why I'm doing that, so... Passing the, uh, school over here. We're almost towards the individual over here. So, uh, once this um, pursuit ends, I'm going to go ahead and run your place. See the reason why they were running for. So,
ahead and see where they are. Alright, so right now they're still on the Gretchen Highway, so... Idiot. Could not you to the right. And the sound here is Fiddle Single PA640. Um, this is the I'm still using, so. Um, but uh, if you guys want um, all the mods I'm using, um, to be list down below in the description. Um, however, the delivery here is not released, so you're not going to see a link for that. And uh, plus, delivery here is made by me, so. Yeah. Oh, really? You want to pull to a right off the turn trying to pull out again? Really? So right now we are gonna be almost to the suspect, I believe. Yeah, we're gonna jerk my head in, into uh, Palito Bay. So that is where they are at this point on. So, um, which is a small town in Blaine County. It's like a town in the middle of Blaine County, believe it or not. So, yeah. Um, it's really a highway going through a small town, that's pretty much it, so... I like to call, um, Pluto Bay the hub of Blaine County, because it's a small town that is in the middle of the highway, and that's pretty much it, so... I'm maybe passing the town, and... I'm maybe really entering the town, and like... Yeah, but we're gonna be heading into... the town actually, so... Not, we're not driving by it, but we're actually heading into it, as you can probably tell from here, so... Yeah. I mean, on the map, it looks like small, but on the view, as you go, like, as you go, like, drive through it, it's actually a decent size of town, to be quite honest, but look at the map, it's like small, so. Uh, seems that I am the uh, primary unit at this point on here. Since I'm too public at this table, so. Alright. I'm on a good note, we actually called to him, so. That's a good note. Now we're now we're a city unit out of jurisdiction, but it happens to be life as well. So, yeah, dude, really? You just keep on going, really?
Alright, looks like they have red and they're still going. So, we're gonna try to cut them off over here. Nope, no, they're driving right by us. Alright. Got in the corner for a uh, spike ship over here at this point on. So, one John 21 crossing a uh, spike ship. Alright, right now it's been chaos, which means that they couldn't get the which means that they couldn't get the uh, spikes out, so... And there's still one sort of goes in this uh, town, so... Alright, I'm going to try one more time for a spike trip support. So, I was gonna be like, just shoot him. Honestly, I think that it must be way too many TV shows and movies because in reality, um, the police they they don't just shoot people during pursuits. They only do that if if if, if it's a threat. Sorry for the right there. Um, but like I was saying, if the suspect was making a threat to other people and to the officers, then yes, I'll probably shoot him down, but honestly, he didn't do anything for a threat, so honestly, I can't shoot him. So I'm like, for people back to saying, just shoot him, are probably the ones that, uh, I probably watch way too many movies or TV shows, so... Because again, in reality, they don't just shoot the suspect. They do that if it's like a threat to the public or to, them, to themselves. So, uh, if he was driving on the sidewalk, I know there's just people be walking by. Then yeah, I'll probably take him down because I know that he can probably run uh, carelessly with that vehicle. But... Honestly, since it's not really tempting to kill anybody at this point on here, no need for me to uh, take him down. So, but the only time I'm going to take him down if, like, he starts to go ahead and tempt to go on the sidewalk, where there's people walking and it's tempting to run me over, or if he's tempting to uh, run me over, and then I'm going to shoot him down. But other than that, no need for me to take him down, so... I'm going to repeat myself right there from time to time because some people out there just seem to forget some things, so... Now I can't do the pit because this is a very, very small community and yeah. Oh, he just took down, I mean, he just went into a, uh, to a pitch right there. You want to stop right there, dude? Go and stop. One, one, two, one, screw me up for I'm just, at this point. Well, it's in this PD, dude. It's up right there. Stop running. Get your knees. One, John 21. Can you show that pursuit at 28? Got to tell him times one. You're under arrest! Alright. Right now, I'm not going to be able to any calls, so. Alright, my man, so uh, why don't you uh, run for me? Uh, I can find it. I can't believe that you actually get kept up. Oh, uh, well, well, I can't believe that uh, you actually made it to a very small town, like in the middle of, in the, middle of the highway, as in the middle of Blaine County. I mean, like, literally. I mean, like, we look at it at the map over here. This is, uh, um, 
grape seed over here. And this over here is uh, Sydney Shores. And over here is Harmony. So most likely, the highway actually goes through. Um, as it goes through the uh, Polito Bay, so which means Polito Bay is more like a hub of um, San Andreas or Blaine County. I mean, it's like actually security is a small town than the highway. So it's pretty much nice because you can be from here almost certain you can be on this side. So it's a small town in San Andreas. So. But yeah, I, mean, I can't believe you made all the way here to a small town in Blaine County. Um, okay, anything on this is gonna poke me, stick me. Uh, hand grenades, rocket launchers, cats, dogs, uh, needles, um, rocket launchers, um, King Kong, gorillas, um, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, chicken, barbecue sauce, lettuce, pickles, um, onions, uh, french fries, um, anything of like that on your person. You don't worry. But anyways, I'm going to just patch it down for my safety and your safety. Alright. Um, so I'm going to do that. A sunglass wallet, a pipe with tan powder residue. So I'm going to go ahead and just see if I test any of this uh, substance over here. So. I know the lights are a little bit too bright to see the uh, see literally, but it's still okay to me. So, and again, I made the lights bright just for the realism effect. So, but I'm gonna take a screen or take a I'm gonna take a uh, quick uh, screenshot of this real quick. So. There we go. Just wait for the um, light part to, to change this um, pattern. So, it's going to do a feel so bright. It's going to do a few, uh, do it in the Carlix uh, feel test. So, going with this one, test it with the marijuana real quick. And that came back, back negative. I want to try the cocaine as well. So that came back negative. Try with the heroin. That came back positive. Try with the with the family. Seems like the heroin might be the only one that's positive. So negative. Uh, the fentanyl negative. That's from the PCP. So the hair one might be the one that is positive. So and negative. All right. All right, my man. So right now you're taking in custody for record surviving, as well for the um, heroin. All right, and control substance. So here are your charges. The charges will be for possession of narcotics. Christ, I mean, don't cry about man. I mean, like you should have known. Instead of Dre is. It's illegal to be having uh, heroin on you, especially if it's other controlled substance. Um, as well for, um, as well for workers driving. So whatever. So you don't really care how many lives are in danger, that kind of stuff. So you think that workers is a good thing? Nothing but buddy. I'm mean, like, you know. I mean, you know how much risk it took me to like catch up to you. I have to like literally like try to make sure I would get ex. I um, I make sure that I didn't get into any accidents myself for me to uh, catch up to you. I mean, like you, you. I mean, I saw you. You like hit a patriot like right through the intersection. Um. Honestly, I have to like slow down at a certain point because I was at risk of getting a collision. But luckily, 
I always search for one minor collision because some guy or some lady didn't really yield to my silence. So, gotta say about that. All right. So we're now as well we're being charged for the possession of. Um, I mean, I did not cause already. So, but I'm gonna have the rest system. I want to have one head of your rights, and that's why I'm going to call for a transport to pick you up. All right. So. It's gonna be for possession of narcotics for the heroin as well for like a surviving. So that is that. So, so we had three years in prison, like a surviving, 318, rendered probation, possession of heroin, uh, 5,000, three years in prison. So, Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, read your rights real quick. Um, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will and be against your court law. Your right to return. You can't afford one. One will be one will be provided for you. Understand these rights. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and request a PT for you. All right. One John three one. Requesting a PT for a uh, ten other times one. Uh, um, it really had to be all the way out of county, just to do. Chase this over here. I mean, we went out from the city, now we're here in the county. So, to another screen over here as well. So, gonna see if this uh, car is still there. So, yeah, it is. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, search the vehicle before we go ahead and uh, give it a tour because we want the impound to be surprised that we didn't search it and there's uh, still stuff in there. So, a right, couple grenades. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and test out that as well. It's going to call for a tow truck. So, if we can. So. Show the marijuana. Negative. Show the cocaine. Also negative. Show the heroin. Positive. Try with the meth. Um, negative and the potato last two, potato PCP are the last two. So negative and for PCP, that is also negative. So got all of that. So, uh, but yeah. So anyway, considering that this was probably a long pursuit, I'm going to end it right here. Um, if you guys did enjoy the episode, make sure you guys leave a like, comment down below. Uh, like I said before. Um, my Instagram, Twitter, Discord, all those will be in the um, description below. Um, as well, all the mods I'm using, that I'm using. Um, I'm not sure when this delivery is going to be released. Um, like I said, I might be making like a skin pack for it, where you also have the uh, community service um, unit. Um, I already have a supervisor unit, so that's that's for the Tahoe's. Um, this thing I'm thinking about making a K-Line unit for the Chargers um, for the community service it's going to be for the Ford Explorers so um, yeah so if you guys want to go ahead and get like the full reveal of like the skin pack I'm making I'm going to have a list down in my discord um, which again that will be in the description below so um, Thank you for watching and until next time. Bye.